Thank you very much for joining us today. Um, we're here to present uh, an MRV in the uh, transport transportation sector training. The training is brought to you by the Institute for Global Environmental Strategies in Hayama, Japan, and uh, Clean Air Asia in uh, Manila, Philippines. And uh, as you'll see, as you work through the different training sessions, um, we've broken this up into uh, three main parts. Um, the first part, what we'll do is uh, lay out some of the, uh, the logic for uh, why you would want to uh, measure, report, and verify uh, your transportation emissions. Um, and this logic will base, be based a little bit upon what's happened in uh, recent climate change negotiations, as well as what's been happening in terms of sustainable transportation. And what we'll do is we'll demonstrate that in Asia in particular, there's a real good opportunity to try to, uh, try to apply some of the techniques that can be used to measure, report, and verify your transportation emissions. From that first part, then we'll move into a second section. And that second section will highlight some of the ways um, that uh, MRV is being treated in terms of the clean development mechanism and the bilateral offset crediting mechanism. These are two mechanisms that help to bring climate finance to key mitigation opportunities. And of course, we'll focus uh, on the transportation sector. We'll also mix in some useful case studies from that second section. Um, and that will bring us to the third section. The third section, we get into some of the uh, how do you actually measure, report, and verify your transportation emissions. And we're fortunate to have colleagues from uh, Clean Air Asia to demonstrate how this can be done on what's called the team tool. Um, and uh, our colleague will walk us through how you might actually uh, measure, report, and verify not only your greenhouse gas emissions, but also your um, uh, other what we call co-benefits like uh, air pollution or time savings. Um, and this is in particular for a transportation project known as Bus Rapid Transit or BRT. Um, at the conclusion of all three sessions, you should have some familiarity with the discussion on sustainable low carbon transportation, uh, why it's important to MRV emissions for sustainable low carbon transportation. You should have some familiarity with the clean development mechanism and the uh, bilateral offset crediting mechanism, sometimes also known as the JCM or the joint crediting mechanism. And then you should have some, uh, some knowledge on how to actually go about MRVing in the transportation sector. Hopefully then you can take that knowledge and apply it to your own cases. So what we'd like to get from this is not only that you're able to, to learn from us, but hopefully you can contact us with some of the feedback and some of the ideas that are generated from viewing these lessons and we can make this a uh, mutually beneficial exchange. Thank you very much again, and we look forward to um, listening, or we look forward to you listening to, to our lessons. Thank you very much.